Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning. Who do I have in the Valder BB Show studios with me? My name is Guy Butelshees, and I'm the director of interplanetary missions for Lockheed Martin. Well, I'm so excited to talk with you because you're going to be talking about space exploration. Tell me what my audience needs to be excited about. Oh, there is so much going on right now. I'm here in Washington, D.C., where we're having a science and engineering festival where we're heading hundreds of thousands of kids coming down to see all the great things going on in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And so in coordination with that, we're rolling out a new initiative called Generation Beyond. And what Generation Beyond is doing is it's going to use deep space exploration to inspire kids about STEM. And so we've got a whole lot of interactive tools for kids, for parents, and educators that we want them to use. Well, you know, the space program had, was put on hold. I don't know if it was after the shuttle exploded or whatever. But, you know, we've kind of dumbed down space for Americans, and kids don't talk about uh, space like I did in the 50s going to school. That was really big when I was in school. So this is exciting. There is so much going on right now that I think a lot of people don't really know about. Um, we've been uh, exploring Mars since we put Viking uh, landers on the surface back in the 70s, but now we've got three orbiters circling Mars right now, returning all kinds of science data. We've got Curiosity and Opportunity rovers driving around on the surface. We've got another mission called InSight. It's NASA's next Mars lander that we're going to launch in just two years, and we're working on Orion right now. And Orion is NASA's next crewed vehicle. So this is the replacement for the space shuttle, and Orion is actually going to take astronauts someday to the Red Planet. When you say working on a space shuttle, are we still in private partnership, or is NASA also uh, uh, doing this solo? NASA is leading the way, but all kinds of companies are involved, like Lockheed Martin, in helping them build the hardware uh, and software that are needed to accomplish these missions. Okay, so kids can download an app on their smartphone, I was told? Oh, that's right. So just go to the App Store and search on Hello Mars, and you can download this app. And what this app does is it'll help you find Mars in the sky, no matter where it is, and it'll actually tell you what the weather is at the Curiosity rover as it's driving around the surface. Oh, I need that. Forget the kids. I need that app, too. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, but this is kind of for middle school space. There's a curriculum for the middle school also, correct? That's right. So there's a curriculum that parents and educators can use uh, to uh, have lessons plan, uh, lesson plans, family <laughs> activities, all kinds of resources to talk about space exploration and get those kids excited. What are we thinking about Mars? Because uh, planet Earth uh, 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 is our home, but we're always exploring, you know, but we do it in a sci-fi way. We do it with, uh, um, what is that, uh, the Enterprise, and, but this is becoming a reality. It really is. So uh, today we've got all kinds of things going on at Mars. I've got engineers in my organization. Every day we go into work operating things at Mars today. And so there really is a lot of excitement out there. And in fact, it's not just Mars. We've got a spacecraft called Juno that's going to enter the orbit of Jupiter on July 4th of this year. So there's really a lot of things that people may not be aware of going on out there to really find out what's going on and, and to learn more science about planets beyond Earth. 
I got to ask you about Juno. Is that the new unnamed planet that we found? <laughs> I heard about the the uh, <laughs> the planet beyond Pluto that uh, scientists think might be out there. So they haven't named it yet, as far as I know. So Juno is actually a uh, a mission that we designed uh, at Lockheed Martin, working with uh, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena and then Southwest Research uh, down in San Antonio. And so that partnership uh, launched this mission uh, about five years ago, and it's finally getting to the biggest planet in the solar system is ready to start taking its science data. Let me ask you, how do we compare to other nations in space? Are we on track? Are we still the leaders? Or we're trying to compete? Where are we? Well, there's a lot of interest worldwide in space travel these days. You're finding a lot more countries getting interested and exciting about participating. And the way we're going to take astronauts to Mars is most likely going to be a, with a partnership with all kinds of other countries out there because they want to be part of this journey out there as well. Will we see private space travel in the future? People with lots of money like Virgin Airlines, they made their own ship. They're trying to get to Mars. Will we see that also? Oh, we're seeing a lot of activity going on out there. And so there's a lot of, uh, of interest in, in space tourism, taking people up to low Earth orbit so that they can experience for themselves the excitement of, of, of space travel. And you know, one of, the, one of the most exciting things about this is there's so much interest from some of these private companies for low Earth orbit activities that NASA can now shift its focus for more deep space exploration. And that's really what Orion is all about, is going beyond Earth orbit and going out beyond the Earth to start exploring the rest of the solar system. Well, Guy, I know you're a division leader at Lockheed Martin, and you're responsible for helping NASA explore the solar system. You have a great job. Oh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I just want to thank you for the time that you've given me here to kind of explain what you're doing. I thank you so very much. I want my audience to be excited, excite their kids, their grandkids. Is there a place online? Can they go and find some more information? Sure. Just go to LockheedMartin.com, and there's a button called Generation Beyond. Click that, and it'll give you access to all kinds of resources. Thank you for making our day, Guy. Uh, it's my pleasure.